In Fortnite, players box up and turbo build all the time. When fighting this kind of player, a lot of people would say, wow, look at this turtling little Timmy, what a noob. That's a dangerous assumption. Unless you're in low point arena games, that player isn't a Timmy. Nine times out of 10, it's a Jimmy, and Jimmy knows what he's doing. He put himself in the box for a reason, so you've gotta be careful in how you approach. From inside the box, Jimmy knows that he can counter a handful of very common plays. If you stand on his roof, Jimmy can edit you down and trap you. If you stand on a floor without a pyramid or ramp, Jimmy can trap you there too. Jimmy definitely knows how to time a shotgun shot, so try not to spray. Jimmy also knows that if you get lucky and phase into his box, he can make some fast ramp edits and easily control the fight. So if you can't do any of those things, but you still want to fight the player, your best option is to get on top. Just make sure to stand back. If you don't get on top, the turtle will just climb out of their box and build up to heal. That's why you need to replace the roof first. If you have extra materials, consider surrounding the box with your own floors and pyramids. If the player tries to edit themselves out of their box, this will give you the chance to edit down and take a shot. This same strategy can be applied when you think a player is about to start turtling. Throwing a floor and pyramid of your own often catches them off guard, especially if you're building with the same material. If the turtle stays in the box, try to replace their pyramid. If their turbo building stops smashing, you won't replace it. Always assume that your enemy has lower ping than you. So instead of smashing the same cone over and over, mix up your approach. You can replace a player's wall or floor from on top of their box. Aim at the edge of the roof to replace the floor, and aim straight down to replace the wall. If you edit a pyramid like this, you can smash and replace four different parts of a box all at the same time. These strategies allow you to play mind games with a turtle and confirm a wall replacement. It's very hard for a turtle to keep up with so many parts being pressured all at once. Make sure you use movement to trick the turtle. Smash the roof, smash the floor, jump down, use the critical point on the roof or floor to replace it from the side. Just make sure you stand on a pyramid or ramp, you don't want to end up like this guy. Standing on a pyramid like this also gives you some protection if your opponent decides to make an aggressive edit play. When you do replace a wall, you have to make your edit play immediately and without hesitation. If your opponent knows even for a second that you've taken a wall, they're going to make an edit play of their own to escape the situation. From the top and sides of the box, make sure your edit gives you a right hand peek angle. The goal of your edit play should be to maximize your view of the enemy player while keeping yourself hidden from their view. If you make the right kind of edit, you can deal full shotgun damage without exposing any part of yourself to the turtling player. For example, this wall edit can give you a full damage shotgun body shot and your opponent can't even see you. Here's what it looks like from inside the box. In this example in game, this edit gives me a free leg shot, but the enemy player can only shoot the wall. Notice that this edit gives a right hand peak advantage. If you don't know what that means or why it's important, let's look at a split screen view of both peaks. From the left, you have to expose your entire body and then move even further left to actually shoot your gun. On the right side of the screen, it looks like this player should be able to hit their shot, right? Nope, they've gotta move even further left to land half their shot and even further still to find a full damage shot. Peeking from the right though, not only do you keep your head hidden, you barely expose anything at all. It would take a Kovacs expert to shoot those tiny slivers of exposed toes, knee, and elbow. Window edits can give you a right hand peek, but they're predictable. Your opponent knows they just have to aim at the left side of the window to land their shot. Instead, try this triangular edit to give yourself the best chance of landing a free headshot. With this edit, you can peek from a low, medium, or high angle, and these options make you much less predictable, and as you can see, it would be really tough to shoot a player jump peeking like this. These wall edits are good to use, but you'll often need something extra to put pressure on turtling players. If you can, try and place a ramp inside the box. Ramp edits give you great peak options and give you more control over a box fight. For example, this U-shape edit lets you sneak behind a player with a quick reset or create a favorable peak that keeps you safe. As you can see in this split screen, this edit lets me land a full damage shotgun headshot, but my opponent can't see me at all. Other edits, like this half ramp, can squeeze the turtle between the wall and the stair railing, giving you an opportunity to pull out your shotgun and jump shot them. From above, ramp edits can mess with the turtle's movement, making them easier to shoot. Just make sure to back up before confirming the edit. Pyramids work the same way. With some fast edits, you can bamboozle a turtle and find some free damage. In this example, I made a bunch of edits, but I didn't take a shot until the player took out their pickaxe. 
Here I used two quick edits to sneak behind the player. In this clip from a build battle, I used pyramid edits to trap a player and escape out the roof. Strategies like right hand peeking or standing on pyramids are pretty universal rules and you should try to use them whenever you can. That being said, you can sometimes throw the rules away if you have an awareness of the situation. Turtles make mistakes all the time. Sometimes they forget to take their gun out, sometimes they panic, and sometimes they just face the wrong direction. If you can spot mistakes as they happen, you can often make risky plays like full peeking an edit or ignoring the right hand peek rule. Just remember that even if you have a huge health advantage, a turtle can always turn things around. If you get too aggressive, a well-timed shotgun shot can send you straight back to the lobby. If you watched my last video about fake edits, you might try to bait your enemy into shooting the wall. Unfortunately, the combat shotgun and tactical shotgun both shoot too quickly for this to be an effective strategy. You'll get the first shot, but unless you kill the player, you can't avoid taking damage from their next shot. It's just too fast. This means that you have to choose precise edits and practice good movement to confirm damage without taking damage. Shotguns in Season 9 also make phase plays incredibly risky. They don't do enough damage to one-shot a healthy player, so if you do phase through a wall, your opponent is very likely to survive your first shot. This gives them time to shoot back, build, edit, trap you, and kill you. Without the pump shotgun, you've got to be smarter, slower, and a little bit more methodical in your approach. If you've tried everything in this video and you still struggle to fight turtling players, pick up a grenade launcher and let it do the work for you. Remember, to beat turtles, you have to stop spraying. Try to think happy thoughts. And most importantly, make sure to use code BillyBicep in the shop.